Ah, you in the when you couldn't get a name, you know, you look Yeah, it's enough. The fancy fancy no the idea. You do na they get to win him. Make sure do away them, the cooling with a habana at all Nazano. Hands to stay tuned, you know. Yeah, I'll follow. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. This is Cooking with Cinder Court. Today we are preparing Fanti Fanti with Fanti King K. So before we move on, kindly subscribe and like our video so that you get notified if there's any new updates on any killer food. So Fanti Fanti is basically a food for the fishermen. After a long day in the sea, when they come home, this is what they eat. It's full of protein. It's so, 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 so nutritious. Try me. The moment you taste it on your own is to die for. Today, so my grandfather and uh, he's up in the kitchen today. You know, yes. And he was okay. Hi, I'm, I'm the chief cook. Yeah, the chief cook. Uh, you know, it's a little rough. I bet you feel so now. Boys, boys, I am. So to make one of the best fancy fancy, you, all you need to do is to use fresh fish. No coastal but fresh fish. It gives it this kind of taste that coastal fish can't give. So you take it, then you chop it to any size that you are comfortable with. So just to make sure it doesn't pieces inside your stew. You are chopping it into the size that we prefer and that we want. After you wash it, you take your time and wash it so that any dead, any sand from the seaside won't affect your food. Washing the octopus, cleaning it up, making making sure no germs, nothing. Everything is all fresh and clean. Just look at this octopus. Oh my god. It's just oof. The food just look at the fresh fish. Just make sure that when you are cutting your fish, you cut it in a sizable form because when you cut it small, it's going to affect you. You season with your salt or whatever seasoning you want to. Just make sure that it tastes nice. Since our fancy fancy needs um, sauce, we are going to be adding our local ingredients, which is ginger, onion, tomato, garlic, and pepper. So we are going to be grinding in, the, in our local way with asanka, that's earthenware bowl. So we we'll grind it and we'll add our salt to give it a little bit of taste. So as we are grinding it, we don't need to smoothen it that much, you just need it a bit rough so that the flavor can come out with its juice. I'm adding my onions and grinding it. Oh, just look at my own one just came to take over. <laughs> look at this, this one is grinding this thing like a lady. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get our fire ready to get the fancy fancy cooking. We're going to use our local made pot to cook it so that it'll be everything's going to be very local. Our charcoal is being placed into our locally made coal pot. So our pot is heated and we are adding our red oil to it. You can't cook fancy fancy without red oil. It's impossible. So we heat it up so that after that we add our onions to it, then we stir fry it for about five minutes, then we continue. Yeah, that just looks so amazing. Ah, oh, just look at it. Just look how the onions is being fried. Then here we add our grounded tomato to it. We pour it inside. Here our tomato contains everything. The pepper we grinded, the onions, the ginger, everything is combined and we are stirring it in. You 
stir fry it and leave it for about 10 minutes. Yeah. So after 8 to 10 minutes, our old man took over. So over here, you put your octopus first because it's a bit harder than the fish. So you put your octopus in. When you place all your octopus, then you leave it for like 5 minutes so that it can simmer before you put in your fresh fish. We are steaming the octopus for a while inside the stew before we add our fish. Just look how sweet it's looking. Ooh, I wish I could eat it right now. <laughs> we start adding our fish inside one by one. The moment you add your fish, don't stay. Unless your fish is going to break into pieces. So you put it one after the other. Arrange them nicely into the pot. Add the, the sauce that was um, created by the fish into your fancy fancy too. Give it this fishly taste. You understand the moment you do it. Don't worry. Then you add your chopped onions on top of it to give it. There's this taste that onions give to our food. Especially when you put it at the last end, then my dear, just try it. You just try it. After we are done, you try it on your own. So after adding the onions, you remember I told you that we don't stir it because of the fish, otherwise you get pieces. Good. So here we're just going to shake it to avoid from stacking under the pot. You just let it cook for about five minutes because the fish doesn't take time to cook. Remember we already steamed our octopus. Good. You cover it, then you let it simmer for like five minutes. Uh, fancy, fancy, no way. Processing around here, one. I think the. And yet I think I've been. Because it's been on there. We still do much too much. You went to. You know. This year, no. I'd not switch from Instagram to Oluman. Yeah. 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 Oluman, let me fans. Oluman, let me fans. So here is the final food after seven minutes of adding the fish. Doesn't look delicious. We're going to be eating it with our king cake, our fancy king cake. So we are dishing it out to meet the family. I just can't wait to digest this food. God, just look at the octopus. <laughs> the family members are just licking their mouth just to taste it. Just look how gorgeous it looks. <laughs> so that's it for today. Our fancy fancy with King, our fancy King K. Kindly subscribe and like this video. New and exciting ones will be coming your way. Stay tuned. Don't push me, octopus. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>